Uh, Skills for Life is, uh, is, is, is an integral part of our um, organisational development effort. Um, we have a programme uh, funded uh, through our change fund called Lead Oxfordshire. It's a uh, million pounds funded programme over two years. The recent work we've done in, in the Skills for Life area, uh, supported by CEDA, um, whilst the funding's been very helpful, it's more around giving us profile and giving us some external benchmark. Uh, and we know other authorities are doing similar work. And it gives us a little bit more um, credibility, perhaps, with our workforce in why this is important. And it's not just something that's been dreamt up by Oxfordshire. It is about operating um, at the most junior levels in the organisation, reaping, reaching deep into the organisation. This is 22,000 people we're talking about in the organisation. And uh, you've got to keep it um, simple, but you've got to keep it planned, and it's got to be sustained. And one way we can get middle managers engaged, they're critical to this piece of work really, to, is, is to have an offering for their staff that will help them deliver day-to-day -day services. And the kind of work that we are, we're supported in by CEDA uh, enables us to do this. Within Skills for Life, within Oxford County Council Adult Learning Skills for Life, um, our classes are, are burgeoning. There was a general kind of increase in the awareness of the importance of getting qualifications to get on in your job and to change careers. I think once these ladies found out that they had um, abilities that they had not recognised in themselves and that they could qualify themselves to level two in maths and English, they could see a whole new opportunity in front of them. And for some, they knew exactly what they wanted to do. I enrolled to do the literacy level two course um, and following that I did the numeracy level two course and passed both of them thankfully. It was very useful because you think you've got a good grasp of the English language and you think your spelling's quite all right and uh, you think your maths is mediocre but will get you by and then you go on one of these courses and you realise actually there's an awful lot you've forgotten. Um, I did go home one evening after we'd done that and said to my kids, right, I want an explanation of the mode, the median, the range, blah, 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 blah. My children just looked blankly at me and thought I was insane. Adult learning is just different to being at school. If you think, oh, no, I don't want to do that because it's, it will remind me of school, it's not anything like school. It's very informal, but informative at the same time. The class I attended was a very nice environment, very friendly, very relaxed, yet the information still managed to seep in somehow, which is uh, <laughs> quite useful. It was that advert that scared me, to be honest, when the little child says to its mum, oh, help me with my homework, and they couldn't. And that was me thinking, oh, in 10 years' time, if my children ask me, maybe I won't be able to help them. So that's what actually prompted me to do it, in a way. But also, I knew my skills were really bad. Yeah, achieving the course and the, uh, the qualification has really helped me in my um, personal life, especially with calculating my bills and doing my, um, my shopping with weights and measures. Um, so it has really helped. It's also helped me playing um, darts as well, because I can do the sums. If there was a lesson I would give to other authorities who are taking this line, is to keep it joined up. Uh, take a very strategic approach, be clear on what you're trying to achieve in terms of outcomes, and stay with it. But actually having a few successes is really helpful early on. There's a danger that employers leave employees to sink or swim. It doesn't work anymore. You need to give them the confidence, the skills, the training to take on enhanced roles. That's what this is about, I think.